Hi. Hi. I don't know if you can tell from my physique, <laughs> but I am a man of action. I like to do action-y things. Like, I like to drive my 1999 silver Mazda Miata around and fight crime. I have a costume, it's a little like Spider-Man's. It's just a red, dirty sock that I wear on my right hand. Nothing else. Let that sink in. You've never seen criminals run so fast in your life. I, uh, I got called into my boss's office yesterday, and he said, Michael, get in here, see? I don't know why he's a 40s gangster. <laughs> but he said, Michael, it seems like you haven't been very happy lately. And what I want to know is, in the future, can you pretend to be happy? And I said, how long have you been dead inside? <laughs> That's what I said in my head. Actually, what I said out loud was, yes, Mr. Silverman, I can do that. And he said, it's Silverman. And I said, exactly, Mr. Silverman. And he said, it's Silverman, Silverman. The sooner you get this, the sooner you'll be happy. <laughs> and it hit me. All of my favorite superheroes are Jewish. <laughs> Iron Man. <laughs> Spider-Man, <laughs> Superman, but you can kind of tell with Superman, I mean, he wears the really tight tights and it's like, you can see that guy's been to a bris. <laughs> Do you think Aquaman stays uh, kosher? Does he eat shellfish? I've always thought Aquaman probably ate cock. <laughs> I think he calls it sea cucumbers. <laughs> Batman. Robin. Robin's not Jewish, though, but you can see why Batman would keep him around. I mean, he needs somebody to drive the Batmobile on Saturdays. <laughs> Speaking of Jews, I was having uh, Chinese food last night, and uh, I ordered my favorite, chicken and broccoli. No broccoli. And the waiter, he said, <laughs> you are a funny guy. You order the chicken and broccoli with no broccoli. No, he didn't sound like that. And I, I don't want to do a really horrible Chinese accent, but fuck the French. <laughs> so at the end, I got a fortune and it was perfectly generic. It said, um, you will have happy fun time soon. <laughs> and it got me thinking, what if there were misfortune cookies? <laughs> You know, like, you shouldn't have left the house. <laughs> or, the lump is cancerous. <laughs> or, that wasn't chicken. Uh, you could also have lucky numbers, too. You could have, uh, like, uh, your lucky numbers today are... Uh, you're not gonna win. <laughs> so, I was, uh... I went out to Jack in the Box last night, I was going through the drive-thru, and I ordered my favorite there, chicken and broccoli, no broccoli. <laughs> they have those secret menus, you can order anything you want. And uh, the guy on the other end was like, uh, are you sure you wouldn't like any of our secret Jack sauce on that? And I said, well that depends. What's in your secret Jack sauce? <laughs> And he said, it's a secret. And I said, you keep that fucking jack sauce to yourself. <laughs> I've been happily married for 12 years. I don't wear a wedding ring, it's because I like to cheat. <laughs> Actually, I have an allergy. And if I wear a wedding ring, it's, a, it's an allergy to um, commitment. <laughs> um, I'm half Irish and half German. My wife is half Irish and half Jewish, and if you were to come by our house on a typical night, what you would see is we both just get flat out stinking drunk. <laughs> and then I chase her around the kitchen and I try to shove her in the oven. 
It's never on. It's never on. Um, people come up to me, or someone thought that that joke was about cannibalism. It's not. It's so much worse. <laughs> Somebody said, Michael, how, many, how come you do so many Jewish jokes and you're not even Jewish? And I said, it's okay, my wife and my daughter are Jewish. And uh, it's just so sweet when my daughter looks up at me with a big blue eyes and she says, Daddy, stop making fun of me. <laughs> That's it for me, thank you very much. I'm Michael Kennedy. Alrighty guys, let's keep the show going.